All right, out of here. Okay, that's, as always, a little bit of challenge to get out of the alley. Hey guys, Adventure Travel in Scuba. It is mid-February here in Calgary. And today we plan the gathering with the boys uh, that I normally ride with in Brack Creek. So we're supposed to meet there around uh, 12 o'clock. And uh, right now it's uh, 10 after 11 or so. And I'm on my way there. Um, yesterday I went snowboarding with my daughter and wife. So today uh, I gotta take the advantage of the weather that uh, apparently is supposed to be, uh, but it's not yet. <laughs> uh, we're supposed to get a temperature of around uh, 9 degrees. We'll see if that will happen, because uh, I wouldn't be so sure. The forecast is always off, uh, but anyways, one way or the other, looks like the roads are a little bit more rideable. So there's not much ice uh, or snow on the road, as you see. Uh, still on the sides, uh, there we have snow and the winter is not over. But uh, any day like this, uh, you gotta take the advantage if it's possible. So we're heading out and uh, I'm not even sure where we will go. Uh, I guess once we meet up, uh, we'll come up with something. We don't want to go too far into the mountains because uh, uh, the weather is not the greatest out there. This is also a test of the new battery that I just installed uh, recently on my bike. Uh, if you missed the video uh, a couple of videos back, I made a video about uh, anti-gravity lithium-ion battery that I just installed on this uh, Africa Twin. So after, uh, it has been probably about two weeks since that time now. So the battery is installed and I didn't have any trickle charger plugged into it yet. Uh, after initial full charge but uh, the, the indicator that I have uh, on the battery like I bought a tether uh, the charging tether uh, that uh, attaches to the battery and it has a LED battery indicator uh, so that shows uh, how much power there is so there's like green uh, yellow and red so the charger stays on the, yeah on the green uh, all the time it didn't drop uh, no voltage uh, i also tested the voltage uh, last week it was still full fully charged so today is the ultimate test of that battery how is that gonna charge on the bike and uh, with all the accessories uh, plugged in my gps and uh, all the different chargers uh, battery grips, uh, heated grips that are working right now as well. And uh, right after that, uh, I made another video. Um, what charger to get for this for the battery? And that's not only for the lithium-ion battery, but uh, it will charge uh, most of the batteries on the market uh, today, from uh, six volt to different type of 12 volt lead, lead acid, and so on. Uh, so yeah, if you wanna, if you're on the market uh, to get a new charger, I highly recommend the Noco Genius 5. It's a very small uh, charger, but uh, it's also a smart charger, so you can repair the batteries, uh, most of the batteries that are that you think it could be possibly done or damaged, but uh, you can always try to bring the life back to those batteries. And uh, yeah, it is a bit chilly on a bike. It's only seven degrees uh, at right this moment. And uh, I have a long jones, so I'm dressed uh, sort of for it. And my heated grips are on 50% uh, at this point, because I do have a warmer gloves as well. And uh, two layers of socks, because the toes are always the first ones that will get cold uh, in those temperatures. I'm actually very curious uh, how many people is going to ride it today. As you see, there's still quite a bit of snow. 
the winter is still here and I don't recall that I was ever riding in February. Uh, we did ride a couple years ago in, on, on December the 6th, but uh, I don't think I was on a bike in February. And this is exactly like, uh, like uh, mid-February that we're talking about here. The winter is not over. It's not even close to be over, I think. Uh, we still got at least uh, another month. Uh, but uh, the days are getting longer now, and uh, if the sun is shining, it's bearable. Uh, yeah, you, you, you can go for a ride, especially out here in Canada, when the riding season is not the longest. You gotta take the opportunity of every time you have to hop on that bike and uh, go for a spin. The mountains, that's another story. They, as you see up ahead, they're still covered with the snow. We had a blast yesterday at Lake Louise with my daughter. It was her second time snowboarding. I'm probably gonna release the video on that as well, as uh, I post pretty much anything. Uh, she did so well for her second time being on a snowboard. She spent all day on a board and today she just woke up maybe uh, 45 minutes ago and she came up to me and she said that daddy uh, i feel sore all over my body uh, yeah that's uh, that's what it is when you wipe out a few times on a snowboard it's uh, <laughs> it's not fun when you're learning but once you pick it up and uh, get the skills together it uh, it starts to be more enjoyable the worst part of the snowboard once you get older now is uh to bend down every time uh, you want to put it on and off the board. The cat is, in a way, she doesn't have that problem because she's skinny like a toothpick. For me, after winter, I managed to grow a little bit of a belly, so it's gonna be time to start working on it again and get rid of it, uh, bring it back to shape. There's still a few things that I have to do before spraying on a bike. Number one is uh, change the oil after winter. I usually change it uh, on the last month before riding. Still riding on the old oil, but it's still, I do put the mileage on. And uh, the, I'm using synthetic oil all the time, so it's a great oil. So I don't, uh, I don't believe it's a problem. Another thing I'll have to do is uh, change the front tire because uh, by the end of the last season, I just changed the back tire. As always, I use the GPS uh, tractionators. Uh, that's by Moto Z. Yeah, the front tire is the big thing, but it's still okay. Uh, but I wanna change it before I will head out to Idaho or the BDR. Uh, today all I did uh, is basically uh, I just started the bike later warm up and I adjusted the tire pressure on the front and back tire as it was sitting for quite some time and not ridden so I lost a few psi well maybe not because I lost the air but the temperature is cooler so once the temperature cools off your tire pressure pressure changes so now the tire pressure is adjusted to the proper setting uh, on those uh, Moto Z GPS tractionators, uh, on the back I run uh, 32 psi, and on the front between 26 and 28 psi. I find uh, that works uh, probably best for me. Uh, never a problem, and the tire lasts uh, quite some time with those uh, pressure settings. I never uh, lower the tire pressure when I go off-road. I didn't ever find a need for that. Maybe if I would go into a deeper sand, if that would be necessary, I would try it. But any off-road I did so far, I never had a need uh, to change the tire pressure.
Looks like we will do a small loop to Millerville from Brad Creek. The guys wants to stop to eat, get something to eat. I don't know what's after that, probably not too much because the time is flying. We had a nice time with the boys. So we stopped for a beer at the local brewery here at Black Diamond. And now we separated our own ways and heading back home. It was a great day to get out and uh, be on a bike today. It is uh, not too bad for the temperature. It shows 11 degrees, but I don't think it's actually that warm. And as it gets uh, closer to the evening, it is cooling off, that's for sure. So now it's time to get home. There was actually quite a few people on the bikes today that we, uh, uh, that we saw along the way. Some of them, they stopped in the Turner Valley for lunch. So we were not the only ones that uh, took the advantage of this little break in the winter. So that's the one thing that's good about Calgary. Once in a while, you get the break. And if you think about it quickly enough, you can be riding. It would feel so much nicer if it wouldn't be overcast. But uh, yeah, it is. Uh, what time do we have right now? Probably around three, four o'clock lost the time, the track of time, and uh, it is cooling off. Just a couple of minutes ago I was saying I had 11 degrees, now I'm at plus 8. entering my community and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.